Alright, today we're going to be removing the rogue smart security. Now, if you're trying to remove this, you're going to notice three big problems. Number one, task manager is blocked, so you can't kill the process out of the box. Number two, Internet Explorer might be blocked or, um, you know, restricted. So, yeah, downloading files is going to be a little bit harder with this one. And number three is that your searches in alternate browsers are going to get redirected. So, there are three, you know, there's three pretty good ways of removing this without using another computer. Obviously, you can go to another computer and download the necessary files to a flash drive or something, copy them over. That is uh, one way that will work with this, but I'm going to go over three alternate ways to do this. Number one, if you have an alternate browser, let's say you have Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, anything that's not Internet Explorer, you can use it. So all you have to do is open up that alternate browser. I'm using Chrome right now. And you're going to notice that uh, some of your searches are going to get redirected. That's a problem, so you have to go to your settings, your options, or whatever. Try to find anything that has to do with network and go to proxy settings. You're going to notice uh, this is the Internet Explorer one, which is what you need. Go down to, or you go to the Connections tab, go down to LAN settings, and it's going to say use a proxy server for your LAN. We're going to go ahead and uncheck that. So just completely uncheck it, click OK, OK, close and now you should be able to download your files. The second method you can do is to use safe mode and then when you're in safe mode in Internet Explorer you can go ahead and turn that off. And the third method, let's say you don't want to do safe mode but you're feeling a little bit lucky, you think you can handle it, you can do some registry editing. Go ahead and uh, hit Windows key R, type in reg edit now you're going to want to navigate to this key. I'll go ahead and uh, post it in the description. It is H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, image file execution options. Once you're in that, you're going to see all of these uh, folders. They look like folders. And you're going to want to scroll down to the T's. R, S, T. TA, task MGR. You find this one, go ahead and uh, rename it for the moment. Let's add a 1 at the end. Task MGR 1.exe. Leave that and close it. Now you should be able to go uh, open up Task Manager and you're going to go on and go ahead and kill the SMF0E289. It's something like that. It might be different for you, but it's that odd one out process. Go ahead and kill it. Now you should be able to use Internet Explorer just fine. And just in case if something is running, we're going to go ahead and download Rkill, and Rkill is the very useful utility for killing processes that are going to get in our way when we remove uh, malware. It'll say I export a DXE, run it, run it, and you'll get a uh, command window. It'll go ahead and it might kill your web browser, and it will. Uh, restart your desktop, so give it about 30 seconds or so, and it'll pop up a log when it's done showing all the processes that it killed. Since we went ahead and knocked out the smart security process, it didn't find anything else, but your computer might have other stuff on it, so it doesn't really matter. So go ahead and close the log. Now, it's a little bit easier to remove. Let's go ahead and download uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Very useful uh, program. Alright, so it depends on what download site you go to, but this uh, the, the Malwarebytes setup might be named setup.exe or something like that. And to avoid being detected, we're just going to add a bunch of nines to the end of it, to the name. Just a bunch of nines. Alright, go ahead and run the Malwarebytes setup. And, you know, go through it, click next, accept the agreement, you know, go through all of this, create your icon. Make sure update and launch are checked, and click finish. It's going to go ahead and run an update. Okay, now that you're at the scanner, if you are a uh, previous user of Malwarebytes, go to the update tab and click check for updates. 
just to make sure you're on the latest database version. Now go back to the scanner, be on quick scan, and click scan. This is going to take anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes, and it's going to detect a lot of uh, those hijacked registry keys, so it's going to be something like 800 objects infected. So, you know, take a break. Alright, so my scan is just finished. It took a little under five minutes. Go ahead and show results. It's going to show all of your uh, infected files, mostly those hijacked registry keys. Go through all of that. Go ahead and remove selected. Now for this many files, it might take another five minutes, so take another break. Alright, so once it's done, go ahead and click yes to restart your computer. Alright, and there might be some stuff left over on the desktop, most notably this uh, OCX file. You can just go ahead and delete it. It's benign now. Alright, go ahead and clear out your uh, rkill file if you want to. You want to go ahead and clear out your malwarebytes setup file too. And that is it for removing secure or smart security. And like I always say, you want to keep your uh, Windows up to date, antivirus up to date, all that good stuff. And thank you for watching.